good morning guys welcome back we're to the channel in today's video we have some products in uh we all probably noticed this was on an off day and i figured uh days like this where we have a company that wants to send in some tooling or anything like that uh for working on the vehicles or you know whatever we'd go ahead and put them on an off day uh, just as we're doing here so without further ado let's get in the house get this thing unboxed and take a look at what we got all right guys so here we have the boroscope uh, again this company did reach out they wanted to send me one for a review um, so I've never had anything like this so uh, I don't really know what to go off of to be completely honest but uh, anyway I haven't really looked at it or anything I took it out of the big box that's in there in the living room and here it is so um, let's take a look I guess okay so it does come in a case of its own let me unzip this real quick and we'll come back that way I'm not messing with it on camera alright so all I did just unzip the thing and I will say uh, this is a pretty nice case uh, similar to my camera setup there that I use for taking pictures um, I do like that I like how they give you some extra room in here uh, you do have a little booklet I can get that out of there you do have your little booklet here um, but I do like how they have this net where you can put you know different stuff I'm not entirely sure what these are for we'll have to look into that here in just a moment but i'm gonna get all this stuff out of here and then the screen is here underneath so i'm gonna get this out of here and then we will take a little bit closer of a look all right so we have everything out of the package here uh, one thing that is very nice they do give you a nice long lead on the boroscope itself uh, which is very nice um, that I will say I do like that uh, kind of right out the gate here now these little attachments um, I was looking at them as you can kind of see they all have a little mirror in them uh, which is very nice you know in some cases I have to use a mirror to see you know if you want to see the side of something or you know whatever um, so that is nice they also give you a charger here plugs right on to the bottom um, you do have a card in the side here uh, so that is also very nice that you don't have to go and buy that type of stuff uh, let's turn the thing on a little switch turn it on just like so and this unit does have a light in the end of the camera there you can kind of see uh, so that is nice as well and also here on the side of the unit you can also turn the light brightness up and down so as far as the kind of resolution goes it's pretty nice i will say my phone's not picking it up um near as good as in person but I will say, uh, camera quality seems to be pretty, pretty nice. So, I'm going to take this unit out here. Um, turn it off. We're going to take this unit out here and do some looking around on the trucks. And uh, see how this thing really works. Alright guys, so we're under the hood of the 6.0 here. Um... We have a little monitor so you know in a situation like this uh, there's a lot of things that you could use this thing for uh, again it does have a light um, you know for say if you think you might hurt a motor uh, you take a spark plug out uh, not in this you know diesel stuff um, unless you want to think diesels have spark plugs and you go right on ahead but you know something like a 300 something like a white truck something like a blue truck um, you can pull a spark plug out, run this thing down in, and say, hmm, why is my piston cracked? Um, 
<laughs> or maybe you have a 6.4 and you want to know if it fits and cracked. But either way, um, you know, you can come on, on your little monitor or, you know, like on the 6.0 here, we have a bit of an oil leak that I still hadn't found. Um, goody me. But, you know, you could take your little camera, you could come in here, you know, look around. Oh, there's a sensor. Um, you know, all up in here, you can look at all kinds of different stuff, um, especially on this truck where there's a lot of stuff packed in here. Um, you know, or say if you want to look down in here, see, you know, where my hose is leaking or anything like that. Um, and I apologize if the camera's not focusing on this screen. Uh, but again, you know, you can check and see, you know, see anything leaking down here. Um, you know, all the, all the stuff. Uh, let's go over here to the passenger side. So there's a little more room over there because there's not a uh, air filter and all the stuff. All right, so over here on the passenger side, uh, again, a little, a little more room over here. Um, and you can see some different things. You know, say like you want to come down in here, you know, look at the front of the head, see if I can find it. There is a um, banjo bolt in here for your fuel line. Um, you know, you could check that kind of stuff out. Um, you know, the whole deal. Like, for instance, there is the fuel line. There's the banjo bolt up there if uh i can get back to it and look at the belt you know you can look at you can look at lots of things here uh so i do like that you know you can see seems to be some residue on the uh, fuel line there you know there's again there's a lot of things one could look at especially if you got used to the thing um so again i could see where this would be very very nice again there is well there we go there is the banjo bolt for the fuel line you can take a look at it see if it's leaking um you know you could look you can you can look at lots of things here uh, and i do like that so you know in a situation of diagnosis let me go ahead and turn this off but you know, in the situation of diagnosis, uh, all that kind of stuff, something like this is very, very handy. Uh, again, I've never had one of these. I've never used one. But uh, this kit that they had sent over seems to be a very nice kit. The reason I'm not saying the name, because uh, I don't want to butcher it, <laughs> if we're being completely, completely honest. Uh, but, you know, again, there's, there's lots of things you can look at. Um... You know, for instance, your turbo, uh, you can see the turbo from here. You know, it's right there. But if you want to look around it, see if it's leaking or anything like that, um, instead of crawling all up in here, um, you can take the borescope camera, which is nice and slim. Uh, you can feed it around, look at different stuff. Another thing, uh, if we come over here and look, so on this truck i have a billet fuel filter cap billet oil filter cap um the fuel filter cap had a plug in it i was putting that plug in it it's an allen drop the allen down uh, at the time what i had to do is i took the charge pipe loose and had to fish down in there which wasn't fun and i still didn't find it uh, so somewhere in here there's probably a snap-on allen head wrench uh, just kind of floating around uh, and something like this would have been very very beneficial uh, again you know say you want to check your pistons out you want to see if you got a scored cylinder wall um, you know the list goes on and on and on especially in something like the 300 here let's uh, pop the hood on this thing or, you know, say if you got a 
issue in your dash you can feed the thing down or up through the dash you could look up in the dash and you know the whole thing the possibilities are endless essentially uh, because of the nice slim design but say on this car had an issue you wanted to look at your cylinder walls or your pistons or whatever all you'd have to do is pop this engine cover off pull a plug out and uh, see what you got I'll deal with that later but you can see what you got uh, or if you want to look inside your throttle body or in the intake uh, you can take your intake tube off feed that into the throttle body uh, again the opportunities are essentially endless so I would say as far as the uses of one of these I could see where they would be very very beneficial and as far as this kit goes this uh, seems to be a very nice little deal um, again they're not paying me I've said this and I've said this and I've said this companies cannot pay me to lie that's just I've spent too long building this YouTube channel to lie to you guys so would I purchase this with my own money uh, if I see any use for it absolutely and now that I have one and uh, we can do some playing with it I think it'd be I think it'd be a nice addition to the toolbox uh, for really anybody you know small engines you could do the same way uh, on my 420 for instance say I don't know if I show this hold on um, say on my 420 if we took it out riding uh, sunk it filled it up full of water whatever and I was concerned with the engine I could take the plug out again run this borescope down through the plug look at the cylinder look at the piston you know so on and so forth um, and I could see inside of the engine without taking the engine apart uh, because if you don't need to take it apart there's no need to take it apart um, so that is nice uh, I don't know I don't remember if I showed this or not um, set that there on the light you can see my old ugly mug there you can turn down the brightness of the light here on the side which is very very nice as well uh, you can also I noticed you can move that out of the way you can come through here uh, go into the settings and change a few different things whether it's resolution language brightness uh, zoom you can zoom in with the thing you can rotate uh, there's a bunch of different things that you can do i haven't explored all of the possibilities um but i will uh you know i'll play with this thing i will keep y'all updated as far as that goes and uh on this unit i will leave a link to this down below in the description of the video if anybody wants to check it out or possibly get yourself one but guys i would reckon that is going to be a wrap for this video i don't want to make it too long of a video uh, and i'll probably throw this up on a wednesday or something like that as kind of a you know an intermediate day um, from videos so we do have some stuff on the way for the 6.0 um a few things actually so well, i got one thing it should be here today well it's more than one thing but it should be here today uh, i'm working on some other stuff something i might have mentioned in this video that you can look at um <laughs> we'll leave it at that but i've been working on i've been working on some stuff for this truck so hopefully we will have some more 6.0 content coming for y'all here very very soon but anyway guys i think that is going to be a wrap for today's video so if y'all enjoyed today's video or found it helpful please drop a like and comment down below 
smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope everybody has a great day.